So I just recently went to the San Fernando uh, swap meet. And man, it's located by the uh, 210 and the 118. And man, it was the first time I went. And man, look at all the goodies I picked up. I mean, man, I hit the jackpot. I never been there before, but man, I'm definitely gonna start going. Because look at this, <laughs> I lucked up. All right, guys, let's do it. Welcome back to Gamer to Gamer. And I've been playing games and collecting games ever since I was a kid. So therefore I decided to start this channel up. So if you like my videos, smash that like button and subscribe. So without further ado, let's start the video. Welcome back to Gamer to Gamer. And let's check out some of my pickups today. I went to San Fernando Valley Swap Meet and I picked up a lot of stuff. So uh, let's jump into this. All right, let's, so let's start off with some accessories. I found two of these uh, Rock Candy controllers, and this is for the PS3 and PS2. And I love the way these feels. I got a couple of these, but man, these are unopened. And check it out, it's compatible with, uh, yeah, the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 2. And I also found this one right here, another Rock Candy, and this is actually a PS3 uh, controllers, and this one is wireless. And it has not been opened. And I got these for two bucks each. I mean, the guy just wanted to get rid of them. So, hey, I took them off his hands. And I found some Wii controllers. I found some blue ones. I, I don't actually have these colors right here. And um, the lady also sold me uh, the pink ones also. And they're up in really condition, really good condition. I oh, mean, I think these, uh, she charged me 15 bucks. For all of them and that's a really good deal i mean they're the original wii controllers so that's a good deal and i found a playstation 3 controller it's it's a knockoff but man that looks kind of kind of cool that's a funky looking uh design i never uh seen this design and the guy gave it to me for three bucks and yeah i tested it out and it actually works already so i thought that was pretty cool now a lot of these things you know they're they don't last too long, but I've been lucky so far. And I found a PlayStation 4 stand. I did need an extra one. This was at the dollar table. I don't think the guy even knew what it was. So yeah, it's a PlayStation 4 stand for the original one, the first actual uh, PlayStation uh, 4. So it's designed for these models right here, this model and that model. Yep, got it for a buck. Okay, found some Skylander docks, and uh, the guy gave all these docks to me for five bucks. And the uh, only thing they're missing the back, but that's no biggie. But this, I forgot which model this one was, but both of them are wireless. These two are wireless. So uh, again, they're missing the box, but these things are hard to come by. And these are the wired ones, and they got this for a buck, and it's up in really good condition. But check this one out. I know I think this is a trap keeper uh, one and man for a buck and it's up in excellent condition and my uh, son loves the Skylander so got it for cheap and check this out a Super Nintendo Classic the mini version the guy uh, sold it to me for 10 bucks and it was dirty at first I did clean it up and man I already tested it out and it works perfectly I thought and eh, this guy's not gonna sell this for 10 bucks yeah but yeah, it works really, really good. This isn't for the flea market. I bought this one after the flea market. <laughs> the Borderlands 3 one for the Switch. Okay, so I've got a Slam Xbox 360 right here. And uh, the guy sold it for me for 10 bucks. I didn't think it worked. Uh, but yeah, I hooked it up and it works great. It's a little loud. So I had to uh, actually uh, clean off the blades and let the fan like run a little bit. So I cleaned it up and it works really, really good. For 10 bucks, you can't beat that. And it came with two controllers. The controllers were pretty dirty, but you know, I cleaned them up pretty well here. And check it out, a vendor was selling the Super Console X Cube. Now this was up in like one of those little junk uh, boxes. 
and uh, I opened it up. Everything's in there and I tested it out and it works really, really good with the exception of one game that worked, but the graphics was kind of all over the place. But yeah, I got it for 10 bucks and this thing goes for a lot online. 10 bucks was a pretty good price. All right, let's move on to games. Let's start off with the original Xbox. Okay, Medal of Honor, Europe Assault. I got a uh, Full Spectrum Warrior. Top Spin. <laughs> That's a tennis one. It only cost a buck, so hey. And I got ESPN NFL Hockey for one dollar. Uh, Crimson Skies for a buck. So all these were at the dollar bands. And the discs are pr up in pretty good shape. A uh, Call of Duty 2, big red one. And NFL 2003 Forever. And check it out, X-Men Legends. I think I already have this game already. And Medal of Honor, Rising Sun. Limited Edition, what, uh, Mech Assault, Lone Wolf. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I have this one in my collection. Okay. And Trophy Bass, 2007. Another game that costs a buck. And here we go. Trophy Hunter, 2007. Another one, a dollar. And the last one is MX versus ATV, Unleashed only for a buck and last one i got gun for the uh xbox and man this is a awesome game right here okay playstation 3 games shadow of mordor and the case is kind of up in a horrible condition here but i cleaned it up as much as i could and i got indiana jones 2 lego uh the lego version and Skylander Giants. And I, yeah, I think I got this one already. I think I got this for the PlayStation 4 also. Eh. And Madden 25. What's that? 1989. Okay. Alright, yeah. Madden 25. And Call of Duty Black Ops. But when I opened it up, it had Modern Warfare 2 in it. So, eh. Wah, wah. But it's a nice case. So, I already got this game. And I do not have this one. Create. Look like it's for the uh, the move. So I, I, I never seen this game before. So hey, I got this. Thing, I think this one for like two bucks or something like that. All these cost like two bucks, I believe. Okay, Guitar Hero. Another one I do not have, and one more, Band Hero. Another one I do not have, and this one actually came with two. There was the Beatles and Band Hero inside. But inside here, there's two two uh, rappers up in here. It's like he just gave me two games, two covers. But this is the main cover case right here. Xbox 360. Here we go. Okay, we got Enter the Matrix. Fun game. Very fun game. We have Fable. The, the Journey. And we have... Rayman Legends. This, uh-oh. Oh, I forgot to check the disc. Ah, we do not have Rayman Legend. That sucks. Okay, here we go. We got Kane and Lynch. Yep, that's in there. Forgot to check these. Kane and Lynch, this is a fun game right here. This is awesome. And we got Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Please be in there. Okay, there we go. It's there. What is else up in here? Oh. Okay, I got Forza up to there also. Forza 2. At least I got the game. Okay. Two and one. And we got Toy Story 3. And, yep, there's the disc. And Zumba. I just got it because it came with the games. The guy was just getting rid of them. All right. Let's move on. All right, PlayStation. I only have three of these. I have ATV3, Off-Road Fury, Pro Racer, Driver, and Hitman 2. 
And these cost me a dollar also. These were a dollar bench. And these things were like really dirty at first. But I just cleaned them up. And they turned out pretty good. And the Wii. I only got two. Okay, here we go. This is this is just the uh, instructions for uh, Mario Striker. It was just in the bench. The guy let me have it. NBA 2K12. Is that 12? No, that's 13. My bad. 13. And Spore Hero? What? I never heard of it. I just, I never seen this before, so I just, eh, picked it up for a dollar. Cool. And only got one PlayStation game. It's Caesar's Palace 2. And the case is up in really good condition because the other one was broken. So um, I had an extra case, so I put it up in here. But the game is pretty flawless. And PlayStation 5. And these are my most expensive ones. 10, 10, 10. The guy wouldn't let up. First one is Aliens Dark Descent. Never played it. And Forsaken. And check it out. It was brand new. And one more is... Final, well, Crisis Core Final Fantasy Reunion. For 10 bucks for all these, I think that's an excellent deal. It really is. PlayStation 4. All right, I got Aliens, Isolation. Fists of Fury. No, Fists of Fury. <laughs> Fists of the North Star Lost Paradise. My bad. And Shadow of Mordor again, except this was for the PlayStation 4. And I'm about to butcher this name. Nino Kani 2. <laughs> I butchered that. Well, yeah, I think this one was up in the dollar bids also. Uh, let's see here. And uh, W2K15. And I think I got this one already. And here we go. Monster Jam Crush It. This was up in the dollar bands and it's it's got some damage to it, but the disc was pretty good. And Xbox Ones. Okay, I got Minecraft here. Good game, I've heard. I never played it. Uh Valhara, the Hills. What's that? Definitive edition? I never heard of this game, but okay. And W2K17, yep. And Dishonored 2, limited edition. Okay, guys, those were my pickups from the San Fernando Valley Swap Meet. And I did good. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Gamer to Gamer. Peace.